do you suggest the commissionate for the RC3? Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot. I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost. I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud. You can never doubt, not what I'm about, have your fucking cloud, it be raining now. I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Stelvio and this is Koryamone, community for who loves uh, running. We are talking about running shoes and other running gears, uh, trainings, uh, uh, time tiles and races. Uh, in this video we will compare innovation uh, and uh, tradition, the latest text, the new form, the energy roads in the new Takumi Sen8 uh, versus uh, a traditional shoe, the RC3, which has the exact uh, feel as uh, uh, those long ago uh, shoes. I thought this could be an interesting comparison, so let's get start but before to start if you like this video please don't forget to contribute to the community leaving a like a comment and sharing the video with your friends it won't cost anything to you but it's really important for me and for the community as usual an important remark both pair of shoes i bought with my money and no one is paying me for this already as always let's split the video in three different chapters a quick comparison uh, of the specs and uh, running dynamics a vertical oscillation ratio and the ground contact time a comparison of the hustle, midsole, upper and price and finally the conclusions. Looking at the specs, uh, there is a difference of weight, uh, the Takumi Sen8 is crazy light, uh, uh, you won't feel it in your feet, uh, the RC3 is still light so I'm sure that uh, you will enjoy it. Then we have an important difference of drop, uh, in the Takumi Sen8 is 6mm uh, uh, whereas in the RC3 is 9.5mm. Important to notice that uh, such a difference could be a problem for those who uh, have issue uh, in the Celts. Uh, and as I said in the last video, in general for long distance training it is always better to wear shoes with an higher drop uh, uh, to prevent hardening of the calves. Looking at the stack gate, uh, the RC3 is lower to the ground, uh, so better for those one who loves the uh, ground feel, uh, and believe me, you will feel it, especially in comparison with the uh, higher stack uh, in the Takumi Sen8. And last but not least, the material used in the midsole. The RC3 have the uh, female light strike uh, uh, foam uh, in the entire midsole, whereas the Takumi Sen8 has the new uh, light strike pro foam uh, in the entire midsole, uh, which is uh, softer. We can even notice the difference measured with the durometer. Higher is the number, stiffer is the form. And even the shapes and the cutouts are different, as you can see here in the uh, Takumi Sen8, there are uh, different cutouts uh, to uh, improve the flexibility, since the stockade is higher than in the RC3 that uh, uh, hasn't any cutouts, but uh, of course is still flexible because the uh, lower stockade. So they don't look similar and they are not. The feeling is quite different, I can tell you. In the conclusion, I will tell you which one I prefer in this regard, uh, so stay till the end. Now let's check the running dynamics. Uh, for both shoes uh, I made different tests uh, that you can see on the left hand side uh, and for the Takumi Sen8 I ran uh, two more tests. Uh, I was wondering how good the new technology um, of the energy roads uh, can be, especially in comparison with a traditional shoe. If you don't know what this uh, uh, dynamics means, uh, then you can have a look uh, uh, on the left hand side uh, where there is uh, a quick explanation. As you can see, surprise, surprise, the RC3 has a better response uh, considering the uh, shorter ground contact time, the line in blue. But the Takumi Sen8 is another level in terms of efficiency considering the lower vertical oscillation ratio, the line in yellow. I believe this is due uh, to the better shape of the midsole, which uh, support better the, the rolling motion. With that being said, I believe we are ready for the next chapter. Ready? Go! Starting from the household, there are no doubts that the part of the weight more in the RC3 is due to the um, rubber in the uh, outsole, as you can see plenty of rubber, but also part of the uh, upper, as you can see here, uh, because there is more padding. So comfortable, even though the femur form used, um, that especially at the beginning uh, doesn't forgive anything. 
On the other end, the Takumi has a thinner layer of uh, rubber, especially here in the heel, uh, a little bit uh, thicker in the in the in the part of the forefoot. Uh, similar also than in the other spot. So we are talking about the continental rubber, light but uh, not durable at all. The outsole in the RC3 will last longer for sure, despite uh, it is not the continental rubber, but it is heavier than the Takumi Sen8 and also stiffer, um, but as I said, uh, not as stiffer as the Adios 6. The grip is great in both shoes, uh, but I would definitely use the uh, RC3 in dirty road uh, instead of uh, the Takumi. Uh, unless I don't want to uh, throw the Takumi away soon after uh, the training. Let's talk about the midsole now. We have already seen most of the differences, uh, but I haven't talked about uh, the energy rods, which are in plastic uh, in the Takumi uh, Senate. Uh, we are talking about these uh, uh, plastic sticks here. They are more flexible and less stiffer than in the Adios Pro. Um, which is good, but uh, of course less responsive. And they are even less responsive than the traditional uh, torsion system uh, in the RC3, uh, which doesn't get broken easily. So the lower stockade of the RC3 will make you feel even the, the small stone, uh, but if you like the uh, ground feel, uh, it is what it is. And as I always say, the, everything is not possible. The, the Takumi is definitely more narrow in the dimension. Let's see if I can show you the difference least in the forefoot but even in the in, in the heel uh, is uh, is more narrow therefore not stable like the rc3 and this is said in the last video not suggested for those who land in the heel uh, and um, believe me you won't like it uh, it won't like you you won't uh, establish uh, a great connection with the shoe and what about the hopper first of all the hopper in the takumi senate is uh, uh, 50 percent uh, uh, recyclable as we already seen in the in the previous video but i want to remark it so i like more and the shape wraps uh, well the foot as well as uh, in the RC3, which is great especially for uh, short fast races. Both are quite uh, uh, breathable, so I'm not sure which one is uh, uh, more breathable, but I believe the Takumi Senate, especially uh, lighter in the heel counter. The overlay material in the RC3 is perfect uh, because it makes the upper more uh, solid, uh, better than in the previous version. And for more information about the RC3, you can find the review video in the link up here. The pending in the corner is much better than in the Takumi Senate. Even the tongue is better for the pending, more comfortable. Both shoes are true to sides, but I had the feeling that uh, the uh, foot lockdown is better in the RC3. Maybe due to the um, consistency of the material used in the upper. Both shoes don't have a second line of rings uh, uh, for the laces, which um, ensure a better lockdown for those one who has uh, um, thinner uh, feet. Uh, that's a pity better uh, the Adio 6 in this regard. The price is quite different, uh, around 60 euro for the RC3 and 200 euro for the Takumi. So basically you could buy almost four pair of RC3 instead than one pair of the Takumi Sen8. Anyhow, these are the main differences, uh, therefore, as always, uh, it's time of the conclusions. We say that the Archer 3 is everywhere, it will last longer, especially in the hot salt, but also in the hopper. It's still responsive, but uh, less efficient than the Takumi Sen8 uh, and cost less, much less. Whereas the Takumi Sen8 is super light in everything, hot salt, upper, mid salt. Tradition about durability, it's better to mention it uh, here. And uh, it is responsive but efficient as well. So even in this case, personally, I would use the RC3 for short training since uh, it is still light and responsive, but not that efficient uh, uh, like other shoes in the market. Uh, I tried the RC3 in a half marathon and honestly, it wasn't that comfortable for me. For sure, the Takumi Sen8 is ideal for short races. Uh, on the other hand, if you uh, will use it for training, you will pay 200 euro and um, in few trainings, the shoe is gone. Adidas will love you. The Takumi Sen8 having such uh, high stockade, especially in the mid of the foot, uh, gives a great feeling uh, for those who land in the mid of the foot, uh, something you won't notice in the R33. I had no issues with the calves uh, at all, despite the lower drop, uh, therefore I strongly believe that uh, this shoe can be used for an half marathon, but for efficient runners, uh, even for uh, the marathon. Of course, I believe that the RC3 can be used uh, uh, for training, but uh, um, even for racing, uh, since uh, it is still a lightweight shoe, so it's more versatile than the Takumi Sen8, and uh, 
it costs less. I hope this was interesting. I'm wondering which uh, show you would like to uh, watch next. Um, there are new upcoming uh, models in the next month. Um, so just let me know in the in the comment below. If you don't want to miss any new video or so any new show, I suggest you to subscribe and uh, to activate the notification bell here below so you will get notified every time I have something to say about the new show. So guys, this is it for today. If you like this content, please don't forget to leave a like and to share the video with your friend and consider to subscribe. As usual, thanks for watching. Keep running and uh, till the next time. See you. And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say